Good evening, and thank you for joining us tonight for KSNT News at 10. I'm Brooke Lennington. And I'm Jace Mills. Game wardens from across the state are back in Kansas tonight after spending nearly a week in Houston. This comes just as Hurricane Irma threatens to hit Florida. KSNT News reporter James Ryan has more on what the team saw down in Texas and what they say about the possibility of being deployed to if Irma makes landfall in the U.S. I'm told the team got back home early this morning and actually one of the airboats that they used is being stored in this building right behind me. But with Hurricane Irma gaining steam, it's not quite clear how long those boats will be locked up. Game warden Ryan Smith is stowing away his airboat after nearly a week on the floodwaters of Houston. Nobody really knew what to expect. But we knew that, that it was going to be flooded in, in neighborhoods is what we were going into. Smith is one of a team of game wardens sent by the state of Kansas to help after Hurricane Harvey devastated southeast Texas. The team used boats to travel across some of Houston's hardest hit neighborhoods to document who had evacuated and who was still holding on. There was some places where the water was in the first level, but the people were staying in the upper level um, and, and didn't want to leave. And for some of Smith's team, this was the first time they'd ever seen damage of this magnitude. Coming from Kansas, I've never seen that amount of water where it's not supposed to be. This was Warden Travis Schulte's first FEMA-related response. He says he was shocked by the amount of water flowing through people's homes. You couldn't see numbers on houses. Um, we actually had to just describe where a house was located because we had no way to give any kind of actual address. But for Schmidt, it was the people of Texas that were the true surprise. Well, they were asking us what do we need or if we needed something from them when we were supposed to go in and help them. For now, the wardens and their boats are back in Kansas, but the threat of Hurricane Irma could change that. The only time will tell. I guess if it's bad enough, then they're going to need all the help they can get, and I'm sure we, we'd probably send somebody. We're ready to go again. Um, we saw the impact that even just our 14 officers, 15 officers that went down there made, and uh, you know we, we would gear up and, and head down there in a second if we could. Both Schmidt and Schulte agree that if the state is asked to help with Hurricane Irma, they'll be deployed as well. Reporting from Topeka, James Ryan, KSNT News.